Liz, thanks so much. Parents, we all know how hard it is to get our kids to eat healthy, but having a healthy attitude toward food as parents can really help make all the difference. And joining me this morning to talk more about this certified nutritional consultant, Carol Cottrell. She's the author of a new book coming out soon. It's called The French Twist, and she was just showing me the cover. It's a beautiful oh. cover. It's beautiful. So this will Thank be you. on store shelf soon. Soon. Okay, good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so look, this is a fascinating subject, and, and I did a little research before you came in to, to learn a little bit right. more about where you're coming from on this on this topic. And what you did is you be, you went to France mm -hmm. to see how the French do this, how they sort of lead their children into a healthy lifestyle. And it is a stark contrast yeah. to what we do here. What are some of the big things, the big things that are different? I think what affected me most is to see the school system in France and how they feed their children. The children eat with a napkin placed on their lap. They eat with real china, real utensils. Their plate is heated. The seats of, of their chairs reach the table perfectly. They, they rise up and down to accommodate the child. There are acoustic tiles on the ceiling to make an ambiance in the room. Um, if a child does bring their lunch, the lunch mom takes that lunch out of the bag, puts it on a heated plate. Wow. So, and French chefs prepare the meals, and they see it as an act of citizenship to teach children in the formation of eating and nutrition. So it's not just about feeding them, but it's the value of food and nutrition. And they acquire quite a palate and quite uh, adult-like taste. Because so they're not as picky as our kids not at are. All. But the French won't tolerate that anyway. They wouldn't tolerate their children saying, I'm not going to eat that or try that. So how do they do it? Because I think as, every, as a mom, as a mom myself, who has one child right. in particular who's extremely picky, how do you sort of overcome that with your own children? What can you do? Well, I think first you have to model it. It has to be what you do and what you practice in your household. And it has to be a value. I think that was the other thing that really affected me. When I was writing the book, you know, you set out to write one thing and you learn something in the process. And what I learned is if I had to bottom line this book, it's the value system. Mm -hmm. The French value time with their family. They love to shop and prepare food. We do a lot of things for convenience and multitasking. And, you know, our kids aren't driving themselves at five and six years old through the fast food drive throughs We drive them through. That's so true. And you brought up another good point in the article I thought was really fascinating. And you talked about how much time is spent sitting down and eating. And we know in our school systems that these kids are literally hurried through that lunchroom so fast that I right. can't tell you how many times my daughter comes home and says, I didn't even have time to eat everything, Mom. We were in there for 20 minutes. We're in, we're out. And then they rush them out for a 10-minute recess, right. and they're done. It's crazy. Well, you'll be shocked to know that the lunch in France is too hours long. Wow. The children's lunch. Gives them time to, here's the thing, this is a really interesting, um, the science behind the psychology of eating is that for us to assimilate and metabolize food effectively, we have to do it in a relaxed, pleasurable atmosphere. That can't happen in 30 minutes. No, it can't. And th I guess the French just know this instinctively. And so that two-hour period gives the child enough time to relax, eat their food in a leisurely manner, um, commune with the kids, and have a little recess time. It really is. We can learn so much from them. Oh. And you can learn more by reading Carol's book. And this book is actually going to be coming out very yes. soon called The French Twist. Yes, I can't you. wait. We're going to have you back when it's fully oh, released. I would love so, to come okay, back. Okay, we'd love to have Thank you. Thanks you. so much, Carol. Great Thank information you. for everybody. Thank you. All right.